Last week I took the wife to London for a couple of days, but I thought I'm not going to spare any expense, so we booked in at the Ritz Hotel. Four hundred, four hundred and fifty pounds per night per person. Right? This room has set me back nine hundred pounds. She starts moaning. I don't like the room; it's too small. <laughs> it's drafty. I don't like the carpet. I don't like the wallpaper. I don't like the big mirror on the wall. I don't like that stupid sliding door. And I don't like the way people keep coming in and out all the time. I said, "This is the lift." <laughs> Go down to breakfast, and that's when she starts listening in on conversation. And it was funny, it was funny, because there was an English couple, an American couple, and an Irish couple at breakfast, you see. And the Englishman went over to his wife, and in a loud voice said, Oh, good morning. Would you like some sugar? Sugar? Now, the American, he heard this, he weren't going to be outdone. He rushed over to his wife and said, Hi there, would you like some honey? Honey? And the Irishman heard this, he weren't going to be outdone. He went over to his wife and said, oh, hello there, would you like some bacon? Pig. <laughs> in, the, in the evening, I went to one of, them, one of them fancy restaurants. You know these posh ones, you know, they have a, for dinner, what you get, you get a big white plate, and in the middle there's something to eat. Have you seen it? I looked at the menu, I looked at the menu, roast squirrel. Roast squirrel. And it said next to it, may contain nuts. <laughs> an octopus. Octopus. I never seen. I never seen an octopus. I didn't know what I. I said, "Yeah, go on then. I'll have an octopus." Right? The chef came out of the kitchen. He was nearly in tears. He said, "You know, it's going to take me five hours to cook." I said, five hours?" He said, "Yeah. We cook when they're alive, and they keep turning the gas off." <laughs> but I was sitting there, and I looked at. The Tables away, there was this other couple, and they were so in love. You could tell they were so in love, and they kept doing that thing like in the films where they link arms and drink champagne out. Do you know what I mean? I've seen them do it, and like, well, and then a flower seller came in, and he went up and he bought her a rose. And go, oh, lovely, lovely. Next time I looked over, he, he, he said, I went like that, and then he, he slid slowly under the table. Like that. I thought he's had a funny turn. She carried on eating. I thought he's had a funny turn. She hasn't noticed. Right? So I rushed over. I said, Excuse me. I said, Don't think I'm being nosy, but do you know your husband has just slid under the table? Oh, no, she said, No, no, no. My husband's just walked in the door. <laughs> <laughs> but I know, I know London ever so well because I was, I was born in London. I grew up in London. I, I, was, I remember with the, when I was little, we were very poor. Yeah, we were poor. We lived in a big block of flats, and we lived right at the top, and it was a very rough area, very rough area, always a lot of trouble going on, sirens and all that sort of thing. And my dad, he never had a lot of work. He was a shepherd. 